If there's one person that liberals hate almost as much as Donald Trump, it's Sheriff David Clark. This outspoken badass is always at the helm calling out the left's antics, and pulls no punches when it comes to exposing the corruption going on in our country no matter who happens to be president. Now liberals' heads are spontaneously exploding across America today, after Trump just hired the sheriff in a key position within his administration. In a breaking report, we are learning that Sheriff David Clark will now entrusted with the safety of all Americans as he's now being put into a lead role at the Department of Homeland Security. In this position, Clark will serve as Assistant Secretary at DHS Office of Partnership and Engagement, appointed as the liaison between state and local law enforcement officials. JS Online reported. Milwaukee County Sheriff David A. Clark Jr. will leave office next month to accept a federal appointment as an assistant secretary in the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. He will work in the Department's Office of Partnership and Engagement as a liaison with state, local and tribal law enforcement and governments. I'm looking forward to joining that team, Clark said Thursday afternoon on the Vicki McKenna talk show on 1130 WISN Radio. Clark said one of his responsibilities would be to take complaints of shortcomings in the Department of Homeland Security. They feel like they're being ignored, Clark said of his counterparts in local law enforcement. The position of assistant secretary does not require Senate confirmation. Clark has said in the past that it would be difficult to turn down a job offer from President Donald Trump if he was asked to join the administration. Clark will work for Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly, a retired Marine general. The department was created in the wake of 9-11. The department's duties range from counterterrorism to enforcing immigration laws. Clark said Thursday that he had informed Governor Scott Walker of his decision to take the federal post and expected to advise Walker on the appointment of a successor to complete his term. He would have been up for re-election in November 2018. Liberals wasted no time curling up into fetal positions over the news as they know that Homeland Security now had a hardened badass in charge who isn't going to sit idly by as their cop-hating antics continue to deteriorate our national security. President Trump's choice for Sheriff Clark is such a complete 180 from the leadership that Obama put into place during his tenure as president, where he put Muslim terrorist and ISIS supporting Dushabag Mohammed Ilabayari into a key position up at DHS, who then went on to whitewash any mention of Islam or Muslims in Homeland Security's counterterrorism training manuals while at the same time praising ISIS over Twitter and celebrating the inevitable return of the Muslim Caliphate. It's so refreshing to finally have a president who truly loves this country and is sticking to his vow to drain the swamp while at the same time putting the most competent and loyal Americans into these key government positions. Given Sheriff Clark's incredible record for enforcing law and order through his decades of public service, there's no doubt in my mind that he will do remarkable job up at DHS. You know that liberal snowflakes and cop-hating thugs are absolutely furious over this news. Here's further details from Politico last week about Clark's position at DHS, before his position was confirmed on Thursday by the White House. The White House is considering David Clark, the sheriff of Milwaukee County, Wisconsin, for a position at the Department of Homeland Security, three people familiar with the administration's planning told Politico. Clark is in line to be appointed as Assistant Secretary at DHS Office of Partnership and Engagement, which coordinates outreach to state, local and tribal officials in law enforcement. The position does not require Senate confirmation. A senior administration official cautioned it's not a done deal yet. Clark, a longtime supporter of President Donald Trump, has long been rumored as a possible candidate for a job in the administration and met with Trump in November at Trump Tower. He also spoke at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland last year. He has come under fire in recent days amid revelations about the case of Terrell Thomas, who died of dehydration last year at the Milwaukee County Jail after guards turned off the water in his cell. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, a Republican, has said he won't remove Clark from office over Thomas's death. Clark also has faced criticism for participating in a National Rifle Association-backed trip to Russia in 2015 where he and other members of the group's delegation reportedly met with Dmitry Rogozin, one of Russian President Vladimir Putin's deputies. Rogozin was sanctioned by the U.S. government in 2014. Clark did not respond to requests for comment. A DHS spokesman declined to comment, as did a White House spokeswoman.
Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.